students in this video we are going to study speed and velocity topic learning outcomes of this video are define speed and velocity also give their si and cgs units define average speed and average velocity give at least four differences between speed and velocity name the instrument which measures the instantaneous speed of the vehicles which is fitted in the vehicles okay before we start achieving these learning outcomes you should know that distance is generally represented in our books by symbol small s okay or sometimes it is also represented by d but we'll prefer this s symbol for representing distance and displacement is represented by s this although because displacement is a vector so we have to put the arrow sign above it so displacement is represented like this but in our books unless specified we'll assume that the body is moving in a straight line and you know that when a body is moving in a straight line in that case distance and displacement's magnitude displacement's magnitude means either you denote it like this or you denote it like this okay now for example in this case ab suppose if 100 meter is the length of this path and it is a straight line path from a to b then obviously distance here is 100 meter but in this case we know that displacement which is the shortest distance from a to b is also s bar is 100 meter along ab so we are mentioning the direction as well as sorry 100 meter as well as magnitude there should be some gap between the magnitude and the units 100 meter along a b so this is a way how we write distance and displacement when we put arrow we are mentioning the magnitude as well as direction but as I have told you, in our ninth class, we generally assume that the motion is straight only. So in that case, distance and displacement have the same magnitude and we simply denote it by S. Okay. This also means magnitude of S. When we write this magnitude of displacement or S as displacement, this is just 100 meter. No need to specify the direction. So let us try to achieve our first learning outcome. Define speed and velocity. Also give their SI and CGS units. Speed. Now this is a very common word. We say his speed is more or less or car speed is. We, you know we keep on comparing the speeds and speak this. Uh, Often we use this word. But we don't sometimes know what is a exact definition of speed if you ask many of them must not be knowing what is the definition of speed so what is speed as a science student you should know this speed of a body is the distance covered by it in unit time speed of a body is distance covered by it in unit time i'll try to explain you below first let us see the definition of velocity Velocity of a body is the displacement covered by it in unit time. You can easily see the difference. Speed is distance covered by the body in unit time and velocity is displacement covered by the body in unit time. Now, let us consider this example first of all. Let us consider this A to be the initial position of two persons and B to be the final position of two per these two persons. So if first person moves along this path, traveling distance 100 meter in time 10 seconds, okay, and second person covers this 160 meter path length in time 40 seconds. Let us try to understand now what will be their speed and velocity. So speed is generally represented by symbol V. Speed V is equal to, let us try to understand now, 100 here 100 meter distance is covered in 10 seconds unit time means one one second one minute one hour 
but I have told you that we prefer the SI system of units, so we'll be taking one second. So 100 meter distance is a distance covered by this first person in 10 seconds. So what is the distance covered in one second? So we know the maths here. Simple maths can be used. 100 into 100 meter second and this will be 10 second. Second, second crossed. This is crossed and the answer is 10 meter. What is 10 meter? It is distance covered by the first person in one second. It means in unit time. So speed of the first person is 10 uh, distance covered is 10 meter, so speed will be 10 meter per second. Okay, now velocity. What will be velocity of this person? Now this person has traveled along the same path and distance and displacement magnitude are same. That is 100 meter only. So in this case again, if I consider this to be displacement, this is a displacement covered by the first person in 10 seconds. So what will be the displacement covered in 1 second? Using the same method, I can find out the displacement covered is 10 meter in 1 second. But now I have to give the direction also from A towards B. So speed is 10 meter per second and velocity is 10 meter per second from A towards B. But if I want only magnitude, I can write it like this. Okay, let us now see the second person's speed and velocity. For the second person, what is the distance covered? 160 meter. And what is time taken? 40 seconds. This is the time taken, this is the distance covered. So in unit time, unit time means 1 second. What is his distance covered? 160 into 1 divided by 40. 160 into 1 divided by 40. And we know this is distance covered. So even if I write the units here, final, it will be meter only. So it will be 4 meters. Distance covered by the second person is 4 meter in 1 second. It means speed for this second person is, this is for first person. For the second person, speed is 4 meter per second. And let us find out velocity now for the second person. Now, when we see here, displacement for the second person, because velocity is what? Displacement covered by the body in unit time. For the second person, when he moves from A towards B, what is the displacement covered? 100 meter only because displacement cover is the shortest distance from initial to final position. So now I'll take this to be displacement's magnitude 100 meter. 100 meter he has covered in how many seconds? 40 seconds. So in one second what is the displacement covered? 100 into 1 divided by 40. So here 10 by 4, that is 2, 5, sir. Two, six, six. this is 2.5 meters. So velocity, this is what? Displacement covered in one second. Magnitude of displacement covered in one second. And when we say it along with direction, displacement covered will be 2.5 meter per second along AB. Here I am just writing the magnitude. So from this explanation you can understand that speed of a body is distance covered by the body in unit time and velocity of a body is displacement covered by the body in unit time and when the body is moving along straight path as in the case of first person speed and velocity has same magnitude and here also for the second person when the when the second person is moving along not along a straight path now he is changing his direction. So in that case, speed and velocity magnitude are different. Clear?
So as we have seen just now that if S is a distance covered in time t in one second, what is the distance covered? S into 1 that is S divided by t. So this is nothing but speed formula. Speed is distance upon time and speed is generally represented by v. So v is s upon t where s represents distance and t represents time. And velocity is displacement upon time. So similarly we can write the same formula here but in this case velocity is displacement upon time. But displacement magnitude is also represented by s. So we can write this way, we can use a two formula and if the body is moving along the straight path then we can consider speed and magnitude of velocity to be equal. Now let us see their SI and CGS units. To get their SI and CGS units, we have to use a formula. So SI unit of speed or velocity will be same. Why? Because SI unit of speed will be S upon T. S has a unit meter and T stands for time here. So time has a unit second, SI unit. So SI unit of speed is meter per second. For velocity is displacement upon time, but displacement again has a unit meter and time has a unit second. So speed and velocity, they have the same SI unit, meter per second. And their CGS units will be again the same. What is a CGS unit? Speed is equal to distance upon time. Distance SI unit, CGS unit is centimeter. Per time has the same unit, second. So we can see here, we can remember that SI and SI units of speed and velocity are same and that is meter per second and CGS units of speed and velocity are again same, that is centimeter per second. And remember that uh, when we talk about any numerical, in any case, when we consider only one speed or only one velocity, we use a symbol V. If suppose we are talking about two velocities, like first the velocity is one value and then it is second. So we may use u for initial speed or initial velocity and v for final speed or final velocity. Or in some cases you will also find v1, v2. But I prefer in most of the case books we are using u as a symbol for initial velocity and v as a symbol for final velocity or speed we can say. Yes, students, when we, whenever we are in motion or anything is in motion, do you think that we travel with this constant speed? No. S sometimes in racing you must have seen uh, an athlete may cover three steps in one second or two steps in one second. And even when you walk, you may, you may run fast, you may walk fast, you may walk slow. Okay, you never think that I have to take one step only in one second. It means you never travel same distance in same time. So we can, in other words, we can say that your speed continuously changes. So there have, we have the concept of average speed. Now when you go from one place to another place by car and someone asks you what, with what speed you have come, obviously when you think properly, do you any time travel the car with same speed? No, never. Because in between the road may be crowded. So you have to then slow down your speed. Even you have to apply brakes. Or sometimes you know the road is uh, wicked. And you can run, you, you can go very fast. So it means speed continuously changes. But average speed then what it is? Actually average speed here is the ratio of total distance covered by the body to the total time taken. Okay, so average speed is nothing but it is a speed which is the ratio of total distance covered by the body to the total time taken. Similarly, we can take average velocity. Average velocity is the ratio of total displacement covered by the body to the total time taken. Okay, so let us see that now the differences between speed and velocity. This you will understand better when I take any uh, num number with me. I'll give you one example afterwards and explain it to you properly. Differences between speed and velocity. Now, first difference. We know that speed is 
depending upon distance and velocity is depending upon displacement. So, and we already first point should be the definition then. Speed of a body is distance covered by it in unit time. And we know velocity of a body is a displacement covered by it in unit time. As speed upon depends upon distance and distance is a scalar, speed is also a scalar. It means it has only magnitude. Whenever we talk about velocity, velocity depends upon displacement. So as just like displacement, it has magnitude as well as direction. So velocity is a vector. Next point is, these points are just similar to distance and displacement actually. We know speed of a body since it depends upon distance and distance can be zero or positive. Similarly, speed of a body can be zero or positive. Zero obviously when it is at rest. And similarly, velocity of a body can be positive, negative or zero. As we have seen in our previous video that displacement can be positive, negative or zero. Speed depends upon distance. So just like distance, it depends upon path chosen. And velocity, like displacement, it does not depend upon path chosen, but depends only on initial and final position. Okay? So our last, last learning in outcome is, name the instrument which measures speed of a car. You must have seen the instrument which is fitted in car or bikes or scooties and you must be knowing the name also speedometer so speedometer is an instrument which measures speed of a car now just think what kind of speed does it measure does it measure average speed no it measures instantaneous speed of the vehicle What is instantaneous speed now? Speed at any instant, at any moment is called as instantaneous speed. Speedometer does not measure average speed. It measures instantaneous speed. You must have seen on the speedometer when you go fast. So sometimes it's, it shows 100 km per hour. And sometimes when you go slow, 60, continuously the needle fluctuates on speedometer when your speed fluctuates. Okay, so speedometer, remember that it gives you instantaneous speed. Now, although the SI unit and CGS unit of speed are meter per second and centimeter per second, but for vehicles, the commonly used unit is kilometer per hour. So this is a commonly used unit for speed and you must have seen that speedometer also gives a speed in this unit. I hope you have achieved all the learning outcomes. And if you have achieved the learning outcomes of the video, please like the video. Thank you.